Well, Ben and I are taking the fighting game genre by storm with the latest invention into the world of fighting games called Dive Kick. Dive Kick! It sounds simple enough. You got your dive, you got your kick. Was it awesome? It was awesome. It is awesome. I know this game sounds stupid to you guys because it's true. All you do in this game is you use one button to jump in the air and then you use another button to kick. No! So I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, that sounds so stupid. How does this game get more than a one, maybe a two out of 10, one for each move? But it turns out there's a lot more depth to dive kicking, especially because of the way these characters are designed. They all have different kinds of dive kicks, different timing, different special moves and stuff. There's that strategy element where you start off and you're like, OK, I just jump and kick. And the first match I had, I was like, Psh, 5 and 0. Oh, boom. And all it takes is just one. You land one shot, round over. They have such a huge buildup. You have gems you can equip. You have all kinds of crap that's thrown in here that really doesn't make a difference because all you do is kick the guy once and you win the round. That's true, but it, if you kick him in the head, then they'll be dazed, so you get a headshot. The next round that comes along, that character won't be able to jump as high for a little bit. He won't be able to kick as far as he used to, so there comes a little bit of strategy in where you want to kick the guy. Unfortunately, there's no, like, nut shots because I kept getting kicked in the balls, and I was like, well, thank God that doesn't affect the way I jump or kick. It's okay, it's okay I still made money! We gotta talk for a minute though about the characters themselves. This is hilarious, man. These are great characters. The first two characters I jumped in with was Dive, and then I went with Kick. Right. They yes. are the Ryu and Ken yeah. of this game. They are brothers. They actually live in Bel Air with their uncle. There's, I don't know if that no. sounds familiar they, to you. They came from West Philadelphia, where they were born and raised, exactly. and then they went to live with their uncle in Bel Air. Yeah. Ow. Dive wins. They also have a character named Boz, who actually is like a, a washed up fighting game character looking for somewhere to fight. He shoots lightning basically out of his legs when he yeah. crosses the screen. Ah! You've got that big fat guy who's got a neck pillow on. I mean, there's hilarious. Okay. Mr. N, his name is. Oh, yeah. Mr. N is OP. It's really fun discovering all the little subtle differences between all these characters, and there are subtle differences. Sure, some characters have boots on their hands. Right, so when they dive at you, is it gonna be with their feet? Is it gonna be with their hands? You don't know. The sensei, he's very tricky. King of the bones. I mean, I was laughing as much as I was just getting into the actual gameplay. I was cracking up. Because of the, the VO. Like, they'll be quick, I can't believe this is happening. Like, when the guys get hit, you're just like, oh, I should have studied for that test harder. And you're like, wait, what? Two, two variables. Even like, the tips in between each of the levels where it's like, Sensei Master's tip says, you should get more rest or something. Yeah, You're just like, what? Really? Okay, what? it's probably. Now, the only issue I do have with it is it's a little steep. This is $10. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but this is $10 for a game that has exactly two controls. So well, it's not the deepest game you're gonna find. Particularly if you have friends to play this game with, if you're okay with playing games online, this game's a lot more rewarding because I think as a single player game, it's a little lacking. They don't have a lot of uh, variety in the single player modes. You basically just go through the story with the characters. Very brief little cutscenes. I kind of wish. I kind of wish they went a little bigger with the stories and actually telling more about these crazy characters. I gotta say, I had a lot of fun playing Dive Kick. I'm gonna give this game an 8 out of 10. I'm giving it an 8.5. I can't believe I loved it so much! Oh my god, I totally did too!